How is energy produced and managed? How do you manage energy at home? What are the different sources of energy here in the Philippines? And what are the renewable and non-renewable sources of energy? If you want to know that, watch this video. Good day everyone! Welcome to Sir Fox Learning Channel! Week 7 na po tayo for our grade 11 distance learners who are taking physical science. Week 7 na po tayo. Sana po ang video ito ay makatulong po sa inyo. Pero for sure, itong video ito ay hindi lamang po para sa ating mga distance learners. Para din po sa ating lahat dahil ang pag-aaralan po natin ngayon, how energy produced and managed. So alamin po natin dito sa video ito kung ano nga ba yung mga sources ng energy na mayroon po dito sa Pilipinas. At paano nga ba dapat i-manage ang mga energy or ang energy na ito. Ikaw, paano mo ba minamanage yung electrical energy na mayroon ka sa bahay? So, sana ang video ito ay makatulong po sa inyong lahat. Maraming salamat sa patuloy na pagsuporta. At kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, huwag mong kalimutang mag-subscribe mag at i-hit ang notification bell o para updated ka sa mga susunod ko pong video lessons. Marami pong salamat. Happy learning. Have one. How energy is produced and managed. Our learning target for this lesson is to describe the different sources of energy, give a brief summary of how energy is produced from different sources, differentiate between renewable and non-renewable sources of energy, and identify the pros and cons of the different sources of energy. Electrical sources can be broken down to two major groups, renewable and non-renewable sources. Renewable sources is produced from sources that do not deplete or can be replenished within a human's life or within a human's lifetime. Here are some of those renewable sources. Wind power. Wind turbine uses wind power to produce electricity. A wind turbine can generate megawatts of power depending on the weather conditions. Wind has been used in centuries to move ships and pump waters. Wind turbines are installed in strategic locations to harness the mechanical energy from wind. Some of the most uh, develop or recent developments of wind turbines here in our country are the Bangue Wind Farm, Burgos Wind Farm, the Caparis Pisan Wind Farm in Ilocos Norte, and the Energy Power System in Oriental Mindoro, San Lorenzo Wind Farm in Guimaras, Nabasa Wind Farm in Aklan, and Pililia Wind Farm in Drizal. Geothermal power plant utilizes the heat energy from the Earth's crust and this heat energy heats up rocks which in turn heats up nearby groundwater. Here are some of the geothermal power plants here in the Philippines. The Malitbog power plant, Malibarara geothermal power plant, Makban, Bacon, Tiwi, uh, Tonghonan, and some other power plant here all over the country. Hydroelectric power is derived from the energy of a falling or moving water to generate electricity. 
Among other purposes, water is widely used to produce electricity and hydropower is proven mature, predictable, and price competitive technology. A turbine converts the kinetic energy of the falling water into mechanical energy. Then a generator converts the mechanical energy from the turbine into electrical energy. And then the generator power is stepped up to a higher voltage from the substation and then exported for transmission. And here are some of the power plant, hydropower plant in the Philippines, the Palakpakin hydroelectric power plant in San Pablo, Laguna, the Balugbog hydroelectric power plant in Narcarlan, Laguna, and Katingas hydropower plant in San Fernando, Romblon. Solar power is a variable energy or variable energy source that is dependent on the cycle of the sun. Since the Philippines is situated near the equator, it has many potential sites where solar energy may be harnessed. A solar cell or photovoltaic cell is an electrical device that converts the energy of light directly into electricity by the photovoltaic effect, which is a physical and chemical phenomenon. It is a form of photovoltaic or photoelectric cell which is defined as a device whose electrical characteristics such as current, voltage, and or resistance vary when exposed to light. Here are some operational solar power plants in the Philippines. We have the Lian Solar Power Project and Kalatagan Solar Power Project in Kalatagan, Batangas, Cavite Economic Zone Solar Power Project in Rosario and General Trias, Cavite, the CW Home Depot Solar Power Project and Central Mall Binyan Solar Power Plant in Binyan, Laguna. We all know that solar energy is also known as the people's power referring to an easy deployment of solar panels and the introduction to community solar gardens where the energy is shared among owners. Because solar energy is abundant, it requires low maintenance and it is also an environmental friendly. Therefore, in Imus, most of the schools, public schools, is already powered by solar, po solar power. Just to manage the electrical consumption and minimize the electrical consumption para mabawasan din yung electrical bill. Kaya isa sa mga proyekto ng city government and DepEd Imo City is to minimize or to use this solar power. Biomass refers to organic matter from plants and animals or microorganisms. Organic waste such as crop remains, manure, and garbage usually left to root can be used for electricity generation. Rice husk and or bagays are burned as fuel to boil water and the steam from the boiling water is used to run steam turbines or turbines which in turn drive generators to produce electricity. Technologies utilizing biomass are continuously evolving in order to improve efficiency. So, uh, some more, some resources of biomass are wood and other organic materials which can, which can be a source of this energy non-renewable sources of energy 
are those energy which eventually run out one of it is the fossil fuels such as coal oil and gas are f fossil fuels which have been formed over the last 600, 600 million years coal is the fossilized remains of huge forest which covered many parts of the world in prehistoric times and hence contains biomass as the trees and the plants died they were covered in layers of silt and sand and undergo great pressure gradually become formed into coal deposits coal is the world most abundant fossil fuel it is relatively expensive and readily available the formation of fossil fuels is due to series of geologic process where the remains of organic life are accumulated in the ocean bottom and are buried to eventually become part of the geosphere in the Philippines, around 69% of our electricity is derived from fossil fuels such as coal, oil, natural gas, and biomass. A battery is a device that stores chemical energy and converts it to electrical energy. The chemical reactions in a battery involve the flow of electrons from one material or electrode to another. Through an external circuit, the flow of electrons provides an electric current that can be used to do work. Batteries compared to other sources have low intensity but they are commonly used since they are portable and efficient. There are three main components of the battery, two terminals made of different chemical, the anode and the cathode, and the electrolyte. Isa na namang napaka-importanting lesson ang ating natalakay sa video ito. Significant po ito para sa atin, hindi lang po sa ating mga distance learners, senior high school distance learners, even po sa ating lahat, parents, titos, titas, lalo na po ngayon, summertime dito po sa Pinas, tumataas yung electric bill po natin. But, paano nga ba natin minamanage yung energy na mayroon po tayo, electrical energy na mayroon po tayo? And hopefully, nakatulong po sa inyo, madetermine, Yun pala yung mga sources ng energy na meron po tayo dito sa Pilipinas. Yun pala yung mga pinanggagalingan ng electrical energy na meron po tayo dito sa Pilipinas. Okay, marami pong salamat sa panunood. At kung bago ka pa lang dito sa channel na ito, please subscribe and hit the notification bell all para updated ka sa mga susunod ko pong video lessons. Happy learning, everyone. Shout out po pala sa aking mga members. I am Eunice Lois. Ayan si I am Eunice Lois. Velocity Nation PH and Fisha Tio. Maraming salamat po sa patuloy na pag-support. At syempre, shout out din po sa uh, Team Rise and Shine for continuous supporting and team fighters and team Rhea. Marami pong salamat sa inyong pag-support, panunood sa aking mga video. Thank you and happy learning everyone.